Great. Homeworld is Lasso, a vibrant ocean world with numerous islands and reefs that take territories equal to continents. Islasu is tropical ocean world that is bigger than Earth, but because of the lower density, have very similar gravity. Despite outward appearance, Islasu is heavily urbanized world with numerous massive cities that spread on top of the reefs and reach all the way to the bottom of the sea. Some scholars could describe those cities as mini hives, but placed upside down, commonly known as polis, each of such cities is a massive hub of production and industry from which greed are well known for. Each city is relatively self-contained and there is clear difference between civilized life within the city and brutal wild nature of the outside. Physical Characteristics Type Cephalopod Height between 1.5 and 2.5 meters Weight around 80 kilograms Coloration Very diverse and they are able to change it In natural state they usually resemble corals of a reef and ocean floor Diet Omnivore Senses Good eyesight and sense of smell, incredible sense of touch, not that good with hearing. Forms of communication Vocal and change of coloration Combined together, clicks of the beak and change of color is main form of communication, but for the sake of most species in the coalition, they usually use mechanical augmentations to speak through speakers or text. Reproduction Eggs One month of incubation, around 10,000 eggs in total. Lifespan 25 years Maturity within one and a half year Special traits Greed are extremely fast learners and possess impressive photographic memory. They can easily accomplish multiple tasks at once using all ten of their tentacles. Greed overall don't seem to suffer any bad effects from great deal of augmentation. As such, augmentations are popular among this species. Greed possess great ability to manipulate their coloration in multiple spectrums, which are basis for their communication and complicated clicking of their beaks. Greed can adapt to extreme water pressure. Their young can naturally survive massive pressure near the bottom of the sea or ocean, but this ability gets weaker the older greed gets. People believe greed evolved this ability so that their young could hide from predators in the depths. It's also basis for their upward movement from the bottom of the polis to the top, as it recreates natural path of growth for greed. Greed are a non-psychic species. Psychological characteristic Greed are industrious people by nature. Very short lifespan made their desire for efficiency and progress inspiring. However, although intelligent and beacons of technological progress, greed have very little or no empathy at all. The only pieces of art they possess are machines or codes that are extremely efficient. They are also brutally honest. Concepts such as lies are hard for them to comprehend. If greed says they will kill someone, they mean it. Their version of cunning is connected to showing only part of the truth or presenting it from a certain perspective. Either way, they operate on facts. Greed, however, aren't emotionless beings. 
They take pleasure in seeing efficient systems at work. They will also not hide their displeasure or outright hatred towards their foes. They do not care for the young. In fact, all eggs are supposed to be laid outside the city. Vast majority of eggs won't survive the incubation period falling prey to predators. The same fate awaits hatchlings that will have to fight for survival in the wild until becoming mature and fighting their way into city limits, usually with easiest paths being open at the bottom of the polis. Almost every greed enters the city at the very bottom, near the mines and thermal power plants. From there, they will struggle, climbing up towards the surface, where they can hope to enjoy the sunlight and privileges. Vast majority of the greed won't manage to climb this high, dying in factories, mines, or being cannibalized by their own kin. For them, skill is all that matters. It's your job to climb to the top, not for the society to help you out. Despite this cruel meritocratic society, Greed accepted concept of a greater good in their own form. They believe that the structure is ideal for their species and by the end, the fruits of their labor help the greed and the coalition as a whole. They also somewhat adopted the caste system similar to that of a Tao, where young greed will have to dedicate themselves to one of four main specializations in an attempt to reach to the top of the polis. Blue cast, similar to water cast, bureaucrats, merchant, diplomats. White cast, similar to air cast, pilots of vessels. Yellow cast, similar to earth cast, workers, constructors, engineers. Red cast, similar to fire cast, warriors and law enforcement. Greed call their eyes to show which cast they belong to. History The Greed were industrial society concentrated around megapolis that waged wars between each other before the arrival of Nikasar to their own system. Each city was fighting for resources, good breeding and egg-laying grounds, and thermal vents for power plants. Meeting with Nikasar changed things. Wars subsided with great realized potential in colonization of new worlds and growth of their industry and technology. Their cities united in a name of combined industrial venture into the stars. When Moralians attacked, they joined the Alliance and quickly became industrial heart of the Alliance, mass producing weapons used by all members and fighting on the front line themselves. When the Tau joined the coalition, they initially saw them as rivals, but thanks to clever work of the Watercast, offering lucrative trade deals and research pacts, were established between two nations. They quickly became close associates and allies. Joining the coalition As all other members of Alliance, they became part of a coalition in 3151st year of Era of Unity or 473rd year of Millennium 38. In fact, Greed were one of the most vocal supporters of Tao taking over the Alliance and remaking it into the Coalition. They saw their deals with the Tao as more profitable than those with Nikasar and were happy to utilize Tao technology for their own usage. Status in the Coalition Puppet of the Tao Empire Although officially independent, in truth Greed are under control of a Tau, and more specifically, the Watercast. 
The profitable trade and research deals made them reliant on the Tao and their markets. As such, although technically they do have their own government, it's almost unheard of for them to stand against the desires of the Tao Empire or the Ferials. In exchange for their loyalty, Tao present them with settlement rights on some of their worlds. As such, some of Tao Empire planets have semi-independent underwater Read polis. Government. As mentioned above, Greed have their own government, the United Cities Council. There, leaders of each police vote and voice their opinions, pushing forward their political decisions. This council meets rarely, however, and usually each city operates on its own, under invisible control of the Tau. Role within the coalition. Greed are masters of industry and research. They are very closely tied to the watercast traders and earthcast engineers. Greed with their brutal society have ideal environment to create massive cities in a relatively short period of time that become centers of cheap manufacture and production. As long as coalition feeds greed police with raw resources, they can be sure that they will get cheap goods in return. In times of war, greed can ramp up their production to ludicrous levels. Greed possess their own army that work with the Firecast, although they are rare to be deployed, as they are only truly effective in underwater environment and little else. Even with specialized pressurized suits allowing them to walk on the surface, they prefer underwater combat. They also possess their own navy, although the majority of their fleet is closely tied with merchant navy and possess few dedicated combat vessels.